father was born in uh, Luban. They were persecuted. They weren't allowed to teach. That was a death penalty. If you knew him, it's not a question. And if you didn't know him, I don't know how to explain the answer. <laughs> but he, he just did whatever had to be done. You could be so great and so simplistic. Sort of a contradiction. Everyone knew about Reb David. But did we know who he was? Did the simplicity fool us? Did the relatability distract us? When we came to America, Yiddishkeit was a very low. Kids didn't go to yeshivas at that time. People sometimes, you know, say they want to hide. They want to hide, but they want to be recognized a drop, a tiny, uh, something. Recognize that I don't want to be recognized. The Rosh Hashiva didn't want to be recognized at all, ever. For only one who is truly great can be truly humble. Despite his greatness, or perhaps because of it, Rav David defined humility for our generation. One of his main things was to be normal, a normal mensch. So he did the normal things that normal young boys did. People related to that in a way. I think it gave people comfort seeing it and knowing that Rib David was approachable. People loved him, and he loved the people who he interacted with. When I was a young bacher, just going into Beis Medrash, Rib David's atzal was a legend then. He never left his father's daladams. He was a tremendous Talmud Chochem. I definitely considered his opinion before anybody else's, no matter who they were, because I knew who he was. You couldn't be around the David with not experience with HaKadosh. He kept so quiet that he could have a Yeah, yeah, yeah. David Zatzal was the exact duplicate of my trail's behavior. He spoke almost not at all. But he had always the last word, and that last word was final. Giving your kid a candy to passing the biggest child in Aloha, it was all that same drive of just, I'm doing what Hashem wants me to do. So I looked and I said, Rebbe, there's a difference between David Feinstein and Yisachar Ginsburg. So it's such innocence, and to me, Mr. Kai, he looks at me and goes, really, what's the difference? He shows his words very carefully, but when he gave a person an explicit bracha, you could take it to the bank. We had a sarichador, and... He's not around anymore. He's taken away from us.